Hi friends, welcome back to Flavor Spectrum, the 100% vegetarian cooking channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make a very famous Indian dessert, the carrot halwa, in a traditional or authentic way. In this method, I will be slow cooking the carrots in full fat or full cream milk till the entire water content of the ingredients evaporates and the halwa thickens. This recipe requires only a very few ingredients and the process is also simple. Now, let's see how to make our carrot halwa in traditional way. Let's begin by peeling the carrots. I have taken 3 carrots which is approximately half kg. Now I have the peeled and washed carrots ready to be grated. I always grate it finer using the side with smaller holes. I prefer this texture as it feels much smoother while eating. Here we have around half kg of grated carrots. Now let's heat a wide and thick bottomed pan in medium flame to boil the milk. Add the milk to the pan. For carrot halwa make sure to use only the full cream milk. If you are using low fat milk you won't get the rich taste. Also make sure the pan is thoroughly washed and clean before using it. Otherwise the milk will get spoiled while boiling. From here, we will have to keep stirring the milk occasionally so that the fat doesn't stick to the pan. While doing so, keep scraping the fat and add it back to the boiling milk. It is better to use a curved pan like this because the chances of milk overflowing when it boils is lesser in this type of pan. Make sure to keep the flame to medium. Once the milk has come to a simmering boil, let's add the grated carrots. Now we need to keep stirring it occasionally as we did earlier till the milk reduces completely and the mixture thickens. It can take about 30 to 40 minutes for the mixture to thicken. Remember to keep scraping the sides and adding it to the mixture while stirring. We can see that the carrot's color has started to nicely blend with the milk. Our carrot halwa is getting thick and looking creamier now. It should become even more thicker before we can add sugar. Now that the milk has fully reduced and mixed well with the carrots, let's add half cup of sugar to it. Mix them together well. The sugar will start melting and the mixture will become a little watery. Now keep stirring it frequently till the halwa becomes thick again. We can see that it has become thick again. At this stage add half teaspoon of cardamom powder to enhance the flavor. Give it a good mix so that the cardamom powder is distributed evenly. Now. Let's add about 4 teaspoons of ghee or clarified butter for glaze and mix it thoroughly. Once the ghee is mixed well, switch off the flame before we go to the next step. Our carrot halwa is almost ready. We can see that it has come out really well. As a last step, we have to roast the dry fruits and add it to our halwa. Heat a small pan in medium low flame and add about 4 to 5 teaspoons of ghee. When the ghee is hot, let's add the dry fruits. Here I have taken some roughly chopped cashews and almonds. I am going to roast them on low flame till they start turning slightly brown. At this stage, add the raisins and roast them till they puff up. It's done. I'm turning off the flame 
and adding the roasted nuts and raisins to the carrot halwa. Now, let's mix it well. That's it friends. Our wonderfully delicious carrot halwa is now ready to be tasted. Now, talking about the process, we can make this recipe in a few other ways. We can use condensed milk and koya. We can also pressure cook the carrots in milk to save some time. I have tried the other ways and found that the traditional way that I have shown you in this video gives the best results. Though this method takes a bit of time, it is worth the time and effort. Please do give it a try and provide your feedback about this recipe. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done yet and if you like this video, please hit the like button. Kindly share this video with your family and friends. See you soon in another video with another interesting recipe. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.